In this section, let's talk about alerting. So when you talk about alerting, the first thing that comes to your mind is probably email. And email is great. You know, email is is good and um, it has a lot of use cases. Everybody has email, and there are lots of Python packages examples out there that uh, that you could follow. But in this case, I want to show you a tool that goes beyond email, right? Because email is not fitted for all the use cases. Take our example for. For instance, you know we have we have detected a route uh, disappearing from route table. Do you want to email somebody or do you want to page somebody? Do you want to SMS text somebody about this uh, potential fault that requires attention immediately, right? So you probably want to use SMS or something that's even more uh, intrusive, like a chatbot or uh, you know like a, a red alert or you know paging system or. Something that along that line. So Twilio is a platform that allows you to do all of that. It's a full service, you know, self-proclaimed customer engagement platform, and all the products includes, you know, from a full contact center to SMS, voice, uh, email through their SendGrid acquisition, and to you know, chatbot and IoT, which is you know, they will send you a little SIM card that, that you could plug into your IoT device and then uh, centrally manage and control them that way. So. You know, I want to say this because Twilio it is a paid service. Although they do offer a pretty generous trial period,、um, as far as you know, giving you the the flexibility to test out their service. But I would understand if you、uh, do not want to sign up for it because it is a paid service.、Um, but it's you know, in my opinion, worth it. I do use it in、um, in production environment as well as in my own projects. So. Some of the links I want to provide you with, of course, Twilio. You could see、uh, this is their their page. You could look at their products, their solutions, their dark customer stories, and also their pricing. Like I said, they do offer a trial period. So here's how you could work your free Twilio trial account. I believe.、Um, I mean, since I passed the trial period for so long, but I believe they would deposit、uh, a a US ten dollar equivalent, which would go a long way because at least in the US, when you're Uh, using a, a number to text somebody, it's you know a couple of cents. I think it was two to seven cents. So、uh, so ten dollars will actually give you a long runway to test out their service. And、uh, there's also a link for Twilio Python Quick Start. Twilio offers a, a full range of programming language support. But in our case, you know I like Python, so we're gonna stick with Python. And there's the Twilio Python Quick Start. And、um, Within there, you know, if you just click on SMS, this is what the page where the page is going to lead you to. It's actually a, a Twilio SMS Python Quick Start, and it will give you step by step and within a few lines, right? Like the, this is their first example, so there's a total of 18 lines that you could、um, just essentially get your get you going, send your first text message, and that's actually all we need to do. Within our example, as far as Twilio is concerned, right? We're going to leverage that and then fit it into our example. And、um, once you log in, you could actually、uh, look at your own dashboard. And what you want to do is, you know, follow their quick start guide. You could actually create a project. And once you create a project, it will give you a, a, a service ID, account ID that that is what you need. And also, you want to also. Uh, get a authentication token. I'm not going to click on view, but、um, but this is what you would get. So you want to take document of the SID and as well as the token, and also、um, during your sign up, you actually you know if you click on products, you could actually click on phone numbers. You do need to、uh, require a phone number as a source number. So、uh, you know you want to take stock of. You know the 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 number that you've acquired. So those are the three different information you need: the phone number, the SID, as well as authentication token. So、um, and also the last one is I wanted to point out that、uh, Twilio has always been super friendly to the Python community. And、uh, you know if you go to PyCon, you will find out they're usually a top sponsor. And、uh, even for local Python meetups, they do. And this is an example of it, right? Like this is a full Twilio Quest game. That you could actually download for free and just play to improve your Python skill sets. And、um, you know they will say, "Hey, you know Twilio, your your Twilio quest, right? Like you're going on this quest, and you have to program snippets of Python in order to to go to the next stage, get more 
credits or you know whatnot. So it's just kind of fun. I want to point it out that this is you know a great resource if you、uh, if you're into gamification of your Python learning path. So, anyways,、uh, so the most important thing for this is that you know get you to think about what Twilio is,、uh, what they offer, and then.、Uh, Get the three pieces of information that you need after going through the the trial、uh, sign up, which is the account ID, the、uh, authentication token, as well as the phone number. So we're ready to move on to our code.